I'm Jeff Burnside for AvWeb and Aviation Safety Magazine. If you're like me, your primary flight instructor tried to hammer into you the concept of stepping on the ball to center it and help coordinate your turns. But there's more than one way to center that ball and, and make sure your turns are fully coordinated. We're going to take a quick flight and show you what they are. Of course, a high-performance single isn't the first choice for this kind of a demonstration, but it's the airplane we have. Of course, the first thing we want to do is fly out to the practice area, make sure it's clear of traffic, and do a clearing turn. Here we're in a left bank of about 30 degrees. It's a skid because the ball's to the outside of the turn. So a little bit of right rudder to center the ball is all we need to do to coordinate the turn. Here we're also turning left, about the same bank angle, but the ball is to the inside of the turn, so we've got a little bit of a slip going on here. Here we have a left turn of varying bank, but let's watch the ball really closely it stays pretty well centered. That's because we're coordinating our flight. We're banking and using the rudder all at the same time making sure that the coordinated, making sure the turn stays coordinated. Here we're in another left turn but the bank angle is varying from approximately 30 degrees to more than 45. But note where the ball is. It stays more or less centered. That's because as the bank angle changes, we're varying our rudder pressure. As the rudder pressure changes, we're varying our bank angle. That's called coordinated flight. That's what we all should be doing. Let's head back to the airport and figure out what we've just learned. We're back. That was fun. So what have we learned here? Well, we've learned that when we say fly the ball, that's exactly what we mean. You can use rudder, you can use aileron, but most of the time, what you want to do is use both rudder and aileron to get the ball centered. That's coordinated flight. That's the way you should have been taught. I'm Jeb Burnside for AvWeb and Aviation Safety Magazine. Thanks for watching.